Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, and this is tips number 668, entitled Cutting Serrations on the Bridgeport Mill. Now, you may have watched a recent video where I cut these serrations on the South Bend Shaper. So this is a similar but not totally identical video to that, but more of you have Bridgeport probably than what have Shaper. So let me show you how to do that. Here's the older video that I made some months back where I cut these serrations on the 7 inch shaper. In the not too distant future I plan on making a project and this is what it is. It's a set of swivel jaws that will fit into small vices. It could even be your bench vise and there are serrations on that. Actually it's three pieces but this allows you to hold angular or tapered pieces in a vise. So that's what I'm getting to eventually. Yesterday I did a rehearsal and I used aluminum and I made serrations here with several different spacings and depths just as a sample to see what I want to actually do. But today I'm going to take this 3 8 cold drawn steel and I put some dye on here so that it'll show up as I make the first few cuts. I'm going to run through this real fast. You don't want to see the whole thing. But I think it is an interesting and useful process. It can be decorative even if it's not an actual jaw on a vise. Be sure and wear your safety glasses and practice all the safety procedures that I harangue on continually when you work on your Bridgeport mill. Now I've already set the head on it for 45 degrees. I'm not going to show that. And you can tilt it either to the left or the right. It doesn't really matter at all. And I'm using a brown and sharp vise that has a swivel base because we'll be cutting 45 degrees in one direction and then swinging it around in the other direction. The cutter size really doesn't matter at all. That's a quarter inch Niagara solid carbide super sharp. Don't use a dull one with rounded corners or you will not have a great deal of success. Use a little bit of oil. I'm going to sit the work on a one inch parallel and I'm going to put it right on the edge like that just so that if I should lose my place I know where I'm at and then tap it down make sure the vise is clean now and tighten your work. Now I'm going to cut these serrations 25 thousandths deep 100 thousandths apart and I have the machine speed set at 1750 the vise is set at 45 degrees. I think I already said that, but of course you can change the angle, experiment with the angle, and see what is most visually appealing to you. You can certainly use your digital readout for your spacing of 100 thousandths, but I found that it is more difficult to use that than to simply use the graduated one full turn of the crank is 200,000, so a half a turn is 100,000. I find that the, that is very fast compared to the other way. You just cut, come around until you hit the 100 mark and then the, again the zero mark rather than looking up at the tedious digital readout. I have touched off on the work off camera. Now I'll back the tool away from the work and I've zeroed out the graduated dial here on the knee and I'm going to raise it 25,000. That is our depth of cut and that will remain constant throughout the entire job. In the x-axis I have set the tool so I'm about a hundred thousandths away from that corner. Let's go.
halfway done so I will swing the vise around to 45 degrees in the other direction Let me clean it up and we'll have a look at it. Now should you desire your little pyramids, your little diamonds to come to a complete point, you would simply feed deeper or make your lines closer together. You would have to experiment with that. Remember that mine are 25 thousandths deep and 100 thousandths apart and this is cold drawn mild steel. If you want to make vice jaws you probably would want to use tool steel or we could carburize this, that is dip it in caseinite if you will and case harden it. All right, I hope you liked the video, and you can see that this is probably a better method than doing it on the shaper. Although, that's not bad. That was one of my experimental pieces. All right, this is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. Hope you liked the process. Hope you liked the video. Be sure and watch my 1,300 other machine shop videos. So long for now.